Hi, it's Steve with Redline Detection, the world leader in diagnostic leak detection technology made right here in the U.S. In today's tech tip, we're going to talk about DTC code P0299. Boosted vehicles, cars or trucks that are supercharged or turbocharged, whether they're gas or diesel, are now a majority of the vehicles sold in the U.S. today. If a vehicle's ECU detects a low boost or an under boost condition, it'll trigger a check engine light and the DTC code P0299 will display on your OBD2 scanner. You're going to see this DTC code in your shop often in the future. Possible causes for the DTC code P0299 could be a failing turbocharger or supercharger, a bad or dirty boost sensor, EGR emissions issue, or as simple as a leak in the intake system. The top three issues from our list can be expensive to repair, so before you purchase those expensive high dollar parts, let's look at the last item on the list. If you have a leak or leaks in your intake system, replacing those expensive parts won't fix anything. This is the easiest, least expensive one to fix if you have the correct tool. So let's look at a leak in the intake system. To test the intake system thoroughly, you'll need a tool that can imitate the pressures the intake system would be under when the engine's running. A high pressure smoke machine like the one shown over my shoulder is specified by GM for use in their dealers. To make sure that they're testing the validity of all the components and connections under actual working pressures. This tool allows you to check the entire system as well as exposing cracks or leaks from other connections and failures in the intake system that are not present when the engine is at rest and there's no boost pressure. Here's how to test with it. First, power the tester up using either 12 volt DC or 120 volt AC. Insert the proper bladder into the intake behind the airbox and inflate to seal the system. Connect shop air to the back of the tester. Connect the vapor hose to the inserted bladder. Press the test button. Turn the flow control on to fill the system. Use the included halogen light and you're looking for leaks in the intake system in a couple minutes. OE recommendations for most turbo vehicles are to start at 5 PSI and if you can't find a leak, you can move to 10 PSI. Never test any vehicle any higher than 10 PSI. If you see a leak, dial the flow down to pinpoint your leak. Be sure to continue looking as some vehicles may have more than one leak. If no leaks are present, you can then go after those more expensive items to repair your customer's problem. Thanks for tuning in to this week's tech tip. If you need technical assistance, Redline's legendary customer service is here to help. I see certified master technicians just a phone call away.